Let's proceed to problem number two. This time, the quadratic function is written in the vertex form. In other words, it is written in the form a quantity x minus h quantity squared plus k. Of course, this means that you have a negative one here. So this is now y plus negative one quantity x minus two quantity squared plus k or plus five. So we learned in my other video that when the quadratic function is written in this form or which we call the vertex form, we can easily identify the vertex. The vertex here is hk, there, h, which is 2, k is 5. So now once we have the vertex, we do it fast. We write the vertex here at the middle, 2 and 5. And then, since the parabola is symmetrical to the right and to the left, we add a value, let's say, plus 2 to 2 and minus 2. We add this and subtract the same value. Why am I choosing plus 2 and negative 2? Because I want to take a shortcut. Because if I add 2 plus negative 2, it will give me a 0. And you know, when x is 0, it is very easy to solve for y. These are the x values and the y values. Okay, 2 plus 2 is 4. Well, when x is 0, what do we have here? Substitute here in the original equation. So when, when x is 0, substitute, so y is negative 0 minus 2 quantity squared plus 5 gives us y is negative, negative 2 squared is positive 4 plus 5, or y equals 5 minus 4 is 1. This is 1, and uh, this is 1 rather, and we have learned that if this is 1, this will also be 1. If you're not comfortable, then all you have to do is to substitute the values. Let, let us try that. When x is equal to 4, what do we get here? So y is equal to negative 4, substitute 4 here. So you have 4 minus 2 quantity squared plus 5. This is y is equal to negative of 4 minus 2 is 2 squared plus 5, you get y is negative 4 plus 5, also gives you a 1. 1, 1. There, you can do it automatic. The question is, Mrs. O, what if instead of adding 2 here, I will add 1 instead? Okay. Let us do that. You can also do that if you want to add 10, it's okay provided that you also subtract 10, the other side. You want to add 5, it's okay, provided you subtract 5 to the other side. Let me just show it to you. Let us say you want to add 1 to 2. 2 plus 1 gives you a 3, and 2 minus 1, 2 minus 1 is 1. There. Now, when x is equal to 1 here, substitute the value 1 here, we get y is negative 1, 1 minus 2 quantity squared plus 5 gives us negative 1 minus 2 is negative 1 squared plus 5. This is giving us again the negative of negative 1 times negative 1 is 1 plus 5 5 minus 1 is 4. So this is 4 here, and this is also 4. I'm just checking negative. This is positive 1 times negative is negative 1 plus 5. So that is 4 there. So that I can show you that, that whatever number you add here, 
you will be getting the same parabola. So let's now plot the values in the partition plane. Let's say this is our x-axis and the y-axis. Always plot the vertex first, 2, 5, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we have there 2, 5, the vertex 2, 5. So 2, 5, this is it. There. Then we go 0, 1, 0, 1. This is 0, 1 here. Then we have here 4, 1. 4, 1 here. There. This will be enough. Then you connect this, there, connect this, there. As you can see, you have a parabola opening downward, but where are the values 1, 4, 1, 4, and 3, 4? Where is 1, 4, 1, 4 is here, see? And then 3, 4 is also somewhere here, there. So as you can see, the 0, the 1, 4, and the 3, 4 are also on the same parabola. Let us now uh, identify the characteristics. Vertex, our vertex is here. We have 2, 5, AOS, or the axis of symmetry, is this axis. This axis. The axis x equals 2. It is the line that divides the parabola into two symmetrical graphs. The domain is x is an element of r. What is our range? Range is the set of all y values that are from the vertex down. So less than or equal to the y value which is 5. The y value 5. And then what is the opening? It's opening down, downwards. Opening down. As we can see, you can check the value of A is negative 1. Remember, when the value of A is negative, your parabola must be opening downward. So this is correct. And then, do we have a minimum or a maximum value? The parabola is opening downward, so we have a maximum value. And the maximum value is as a shortcut is the k value this is always h and k the k value of your vertex y why is it the k value of your vertex or what five equals y because this is the highest value of your parabola from five all the other values will be going down. So you have here the maximum value of your parabola will be 5. There. So let us say uh, your A here, the value of your A here is not 1 or negative 1. Then your parabola will be wider. We will, we will discuss that in another video. Before we end, let us remember to always add kindness, subtract judgment, multiply understanding equals Mrs. O's good life equation. Please don't forget to subscribe the bell button and subscribe.